hi guys i know i look crazy but i'm just laying in bed editing but i just want to let you know that this was a plato's closet haul that did get cut short i don't know what happened to the second half of the video but i still wanted to give you the haul because in the first half i show quite a bit of stuff that i got so enjoy Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you saw by the title, I'm going to be doing a Play-Doh's Closet Haul. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I am wearing is this big old t-shirt. It has this cool little dragon thing on it, which normally I wouldn't go for something like this, but this t-shirt is huge and it is so freaking thin and soft. It's a Sheen t-shirt, which I didn't think would be as good quality as it is. It is just such a comfy t-shirt and I actually kind of think the design is cool. Like I said, I would never go for something like this, but it's actually pretty cool. So I got this t-shirt and I don't know why, but t-shirts seem to be my theme this haul, this time around. I got this little gray t-shirt and this is actually by Sun. And I don't know, I thought it was cool. I thought the neckline was actually really unique. I've never seen anything like this and then the front of it, Kind of reminds me of a corset. So this is a size medium, so I know it'll fit. So this is just a simple gray t-shirt, but I think the neckline and kind of the uh, design of the seams right here kind of spices it up a little. So I got that. Like I said, packs on t-shirt and this was $6. So pretty good steal on this one. Sheen t-shirt, I don't know how much this one was. Probably just a couple of dollars. And then I got this little shirt from Forever 21 and it was only five bucks. So I never thought I would go for something like this, but the more I looked at it, I was like, wait, that's actually so cute. I love the pattern and this is gonna make me look so tan. I just thought this with a pair of like mom jeans and like a little belt would be so cute, but it's like a puffy look. Obviously it's got this like ruching around the edges. All the edges have that ruching. It's just a cute little dainty delicate shirt and it's gonna make me look so tan and i love her more t-shirts maybe we should just get the t-shirts out of the way because i have a lot so let's keep going with this i got this little top this is from airy you guys know that airy is my favorite because they are all about comfort while being cute and that's my entire style wrapped up in a nutshell so i got this little t-shirt and it has like a waffle print on it just says keep on keeping on which normally i don't go for anything with like words or you know like quotes and stuff on i don't like it but I kind of think it's very simple. And this shirt is so comfy and stretchy and I just, I love it. The little neckline is so dainty. I love her. So this probably at area would be $25, $30, maybe more. And I got it for five bucks, so steal. And then another shirt I normally wouldn't go for, kind of like this one, was this kind of like black and white gray tie-dye shirt so this is from rue 21 size medium it was five dollars look at me with my five dollar t-shirts anyway again something i didn't think i would go for but i actually love it i love that the sleeves are like folded up and sewn like that i love a cute little sleeve and i don't know why i just thought this would be really cute with a pair of jeans jean shorts, some sort of belt. I just think it's cute and comfortable. And I don't really like tie-dye. I've been trying to get into it, but I think this is like nice, subtle tie-dye because you can barely see it on camera. So that's good enough for me. Oh, I love this t-shirt. So this is obviously a t-shirt that someone cut themselves, but I think I've seen this brand before. It's Delta Magnum Weight, which I think is like a original, but also very expensive, good quality brand. And it is this big old crop top t-shirt and it has these cute little cars on them and it says full-blown fun and i don't know i just love this i think it's cute i would wear this to like a concert or something i just think it's i don't know i love it i love it and then of course i had to get my patriots gear if you're ever looking for sports gear or jerseys or anything i always go to plato's closet um, that's where I get all of my Patriots stuff from. I went to a Bruins game and I went and got a Bruins jersey from there. But I just got this big old Patriots t-shirt. You know, basic Brady number 12 on the back. And I love it. I think that this is an original. Yeah, this is an original team apparel. So these are very expensive. This t-shirt is probably like 50 bucks. And I got it for eight. I love it. And I'm definitely going to be wearing it for the kickoff game. 
it's Friday. And then I got another one, which I haven't actually seen any Patriots t-shirts like this. And this one's huge and so comfy. Again, why I love it. This is a Reebok, Reebok. I don't know if that's like an original, like Patriots gear brand, I don't know. But it is $6, it's a really good quality t-shirt. But it says, the heart inside the huddle, New England Patriots charitable foundation. I just love that, the heart inside the huddle. So cute, simple t-shirt, but I love my big t-shirts, especially at my Patriots t-shirts. And then I got a couple sweatshirts as well. So this is the first one I got. It is just a Puma green sweatshirt. Most of my sweatshirts are massive. So like extra large, large sizes. I just like to wear big clothes, big sweatshirts. And I only have like two or three that actually fit me like how they're supposed to fit me. A lot of times if I wear shorts and I wanna look like I actually have pants on, I'm looking for that fitted sweatshirt that doesn't fall below my knees. But I guess I only have like two or three. So I just got this one. It's in a size, size medium. So it'll actually fit me like a normal sweatshirt. Like I said, Puma, $12 and it's green. This is one of my favorite colors on me, this green color. I just think this is like my color if I had to pick one besides black and white and gray. But I feel like that looks good on everyone. And then I got this other one. Again, a little crop top pullover hoodie. So I liked this one because my school colors are green. So I figured this would be good for like football games. Like I said, just simple, something I can just pull over and call it an outfit and then i got this which is actually for my boyfriend but if he doesn't end up wearing it i'm definitely gonna wear it so this is a calvin klein pullover um there was no tag on it but i think she said it was like 12 dollars or something i'm not sure size large and it's really simple my boyfriend likes to wear these just because they're easy to pull over and walk to class but it has this like other material right here i don't even know what kind of material it is it says calvin klein and that's like metal, but yeah, super simple. But if he doesn't wear it, I'm definitely going to steal that. And then I got a simple sports bra. I'm always looking for basic sports bras, especially like black sports bras, that's my go-to. So I just got this Adidas black and white one, which normally I wouldn't get a sports bra with this like pattern on it, but it was really comfy when I tried it on and it fit me well, so. I just got her Adidas sports bra, $8. And then the reason why I got so many tops and only two pairs of bottoms is because I had really bad luck with bottoms. They were kind of transitioning from like summer to fall winter clothes. So their short selection was horrible. They had like nothing left for shorts, which normally is kind of what I was gonna go for is to get shorts. And then I was gonna go for mom jeans and I ended up only finding two pairs that Oh, I'm so sorry about this lighting, but what I was gonna say, I'm assuming is that I found two pair of mom jeans that fit me actually pretty good. I remember I got two rather like dark pairs of like ripped mom jeans that fit my butt really good, but then were loose everywhere else, you know, how we like it to fit. But that's where the video cut out and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, make sure you subscribe. I do post new videos every single week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.